Um, and it's like, I'll protect my kids before someone else's kids or my wife before someone else's wife because they are my legacy and my path to immortality. So in, inherently, and this is something that I've been struggling with personally, is empathy selfish? Because I always thought empathy meant you weren't selfish. You were this really good, selfless person. But as I have begun to analyze where I'm empathetic, I find it self-serving. And that makes, I don't even, that's why I'm asking this bigger question of what is this emotion and why has it evolved? And you've made perfect sense of it for me. Is there a form of empathy that isn't self-serving? Like even when I see somebody or something, like I saw an animal that was, in distress and I wanted to save the animal. And I thought like, I'm on the freeway chasing it, don't even ask. And the long and the short of it is, I was like, am I trying to stop myself from feeling deeply upset if something happens to this animal? Am I relating to the animal? Am I identifying with the animal? It's like rush hour traffic, I look like a lunatic, I'm stopping traffic. And the long and the short of it is, is it selfish what I'm doing? When I see somebody who's struggling with something and I feel like my heart breaks and I want to fix it. I ran into a woman the other day who was morbidly obese and she just had brain surgery. And I swear to God, I was depressed the rest of the night. And I thought, okay, this isn't because I'm some sort of great person. This is obviously triggering something in me that makes me feel like the animal on the freeway or the woman that needs help. So is empathy really selfish because it's about the part of you that is self-preserving? It's a bit of both. Okay. No, I, that's a fantastic question. I'm I'm gonna hit you with another one of those uh, mind blowing answers. Get ready. I'm ready. Uh, first of all, I completely empathize empathize with uh, <laughs> your your position on uh, you know the animal that's in distress. Uh, I just spent five weeks with my family in uh, Newport Beach, and on one of our last days in Southern California, we saw a gorgeous female seal that had just beached itself on uh, on one of the, the beaches in, in Newport Beach. And uh, she was acting in a very strange way that you wouldn't expect. And it turns out that she she was suffering from uh, exposure to a particular algae. I can't remember yes, the name of the it's disease. it's a big thing in California. Exactly. It that happens sort a lot. Of, I mean, literally, they're they're complete. They're they're. I mean, they're parasitized in a sense. I mean, not in the way that I've been talking, but it, yeah. it's literally affecting them neurologically and so on. Yeah. Now, the the marine biology center that handles these things came over, took her. I took the phone number and have I have since like we've been, we've been back now for almost three weeks. I so they call they now they called her they christened her Robin. So here I am. <laughs> 3,000 miles away, texting them every few days saying, can you give me an update on Robin? And to your point, there is absolutely no evolutionary benefit that I am reaping in feeling this great empathy and love and for compassion Robin. for an animal. Right. So, so, so that mechanism could be channeled in different ways. Yes, empathy could be deployed for absolutely no benefits, but it's very rare. What is it going to take then? I so what, what do we do? We, we, well, first it's, of all, we all read Parasitic Mind because you taught me how to fight back. And that's what everyone needs to learn to do. So if you're, if you're awake and you're wondering what the hell is going on, you need to learn how to steal man your arguments and how to plant yourself firmly in your area of expertise. I so mean, there is a more... There is an immediate way to solve it, and oh. there is a long-term way. Give me so both. At, both, Doc. At, yeah. So I am in the long view in that yeah. I'm trying to change people's minds. I'm trying to teach them how to critically think. I'm trying to administer the mind vaccine, inoculate them against persons. Keeping it real with Jillian Michaels. Jillian Michaels.